Slum Village, Dirty Slums 2, Review Slum Village is one of the most unfortunate hip-hop acts in hip-hop history, and even in their heyday, they were unfairly slept on. Then, through the death of Jay Dilla or Batin, this just affected the group greatly. The last year's Dirty Slum mixtape announced that Elzai was part of the group, and the follow-up, he's no better to be found. And through all of this, I feel Slum is really missing a face, or personality. I guess these faces are T3 and Young RJ. Overall, I find the group have changed greatly from last year, and are unrecognizable from the Fantastic Volume 2 days. What I feel Slum is missing is this secondary or even primary lyricist, someone who's just damn nice on that mic. T3 has good verses, but he can't carry a song alone. Young RJ is nice, but not quite nice enough. They have features by rapper Big Pooh and Guilty Simpson, but they're just guests, they're not part of this group, and so they're just their one or two songs. Most of the time the verses are inconsistent, and occasionally they just sound like they're spinning over a beat. It got rhyme, but no reason. Very few songs actually seem to have a consistent theme, and none has any progression in it whatsoever. The verses all sound like they were written in a vacuum. But it doesn't mean that the verses can't be strong. And sometimes the song comes together by just putting together three damn nice verses. Decadence is dope, l lyrical. Nightmares is a well-told story. Every verse has its own story, but it all has a consistent theme. What you want is a good cipher, and look at your face is another favorite, especially due to the beat. Talking about beats, even in its heyday, Slum wasn't the most lyrical collabo ever. What really just put them over the top was the production by JD. It sounds like Slum, but here it's just not quite this JD La magic, that's really what is missing. It has about the same style, but not quite. It is still good, and the instrumentals here with better lyrics would be terrific. I mean, Look At Your Face is great, Exodus great, Riot great. They're strong, but they're just not that strong to carry the whole project. I gotta really applaud them for keeping the sound alive. Overall, this tape is alright. You can listen to better, but you can also listen to worse. 3 out of 5.